Hello everyone. Today we'll perform uh, test and design emitter follower. So emitter follower normally uh, this is the circuit which I've already plotted. Right. So here we have signed uh, two voltage sources. If you right click on this, you'll find DC offset and we'll give it as zero. Amplitude of one volt and frequency fifty five hertz. So zero one volt fifty five hertz. Uh, two capacitors here, yeah, C1 and C2, uh, C1 of 10 microfarad and C2 of 100, 100 farads. Uh, totally four resistances, R1, R2, R3 and R4 with these values. And one more voltage source with uh, a DC value of 5 volt. And uh, <coughs> to take this transistor, uh, initially we have to go to this component and uh, type in NPN and select this one. So once you select this one, you have to uh, right click this transistor and then uh, once you right click this transistor, you have to pick a new transistor. Uh, you will get 2N3904, any uh, of the transistor you can select. I have selected the second one, 2N3904. And uh, remaining values are as it is. And before uh, uh, executing this one, uh, go to simulate, edit simulation command and we have to set stop time as 0 0.05 second. And then once you run, you can see uh, this is the input. If I plot this one, okay. Wait, wait. This is the input, input waveform, and this is the output waveform. This is, the output waveform. Okay. <clears throat> this is about uh, emitter follower. Normally, uh, we make this in uh, common collector configuration with collector uh, remaining common to both uh, emitter as well as base terminal. And we have to bias this uh, uh, transistor and the base bias. We have to supply the input here. Once it is biased, we, we get the output here. So this is about emitter follower circuit. Thank you.